Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Porter Valley Ranch. Today we are going to the meetup here in Sulphur, Oklahoma. We're hoping to see some people like Rustic Woodwork and Family, Hidden Heights Farm, uh, Keeping It Dutch, Adler Farms, and a whole lot more. So we stayed at the Treasure Valley Hotel and Casino last night. I went and put $5 in this morning because I was feeling lucky and I lost it all. I know. You guys were thinking, man, this video is gonna start out with him winning like $20,000. I lost $5, I can deal with that. We got some IHOP. Now I got the whole family in the car. We're gonna go to the meetup and see some of the people. We got to hang out with the Eddies and the Fowlers last night. Uh, had a great time also with Lori and Greg. So we're gonna hopefully see them and a bunch of others and we'll take you with us. Well, one day I woke up to find that everything was not so fine. I feel so mixed up in. Well, we're off to a good start. I took off out of the parking lot, went the wrong way. So now we're going the right way. Um, for those of you wondering, this is about two and a half, two hours and 45 minutes away from our house. We live in Northeast Oklahoma. This is more like South Central Oklahoma. So we drove two and a half hours last night and came down. Uh, we wanted to make sure we were here early this morning. Plus, I had told Brandon um, a couple weeks ago that we would help set up. So we got there last night and got set up, which was great because we got to meet them um, a little bit more. Uh, we hadn't had a lot of chances to talk with them and the Fowlers, and so we all went out to eat with LG Homestead, and um, it was great. So, boys, who are you hoping to get to meet today? Or what do you hope to see? Uh, I mean, I wanna meet Kevin and Dutch. Kevin and Dutch. So are you going to call them Mr. Kevin and Mr. Dutch, or what do you, what do you think you would say? I don't know. I'm probably not going to even talk. You're not going to talk? No. It's just going to be awkward? Yep. Cool. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> Everybody loves a good awkward YouTube channel. But okay, right? what about you, Jet? Um, I mean, yeah, you guys already met Houston, so maybe, I don't know if Armstrong is going to be there or not, but if they are, then you can play with him again, right? That was fun. You guys can have some more water fights. <laughs> what about you, Kai? Man, I sure hope everyone at the meetup is as great at talking on camera as my children are. What about you, Rachel? Who do you want to meet? Everybody. She wants to meet Leon. Everybody. Leon. I want to meet Leon. Leon. Yes. Leon. <laughs> I don't know how this video is going to work out, but Leon, uh, we thought we saw him last night. Leon or his business, which we don't know if he has business. I hope Leon's here. And if Leon is here, then we're going to get a picture with him and Rachel. Some more hoop houses, maybe. It might that might be Leon's farm. We made it to the expo center. There are some bounce houses and some kids. I saw two old people on a couch. Not literally two old people on a couch. The two old people on a couch uh, walking in. So excited to see them again. But if you watched our last meetup video, I titled it the worst meetup video because I didn't film anything. So today, I am determined to film things. So that's my goal. That's what I'm filming. You're welcome. This is the Expo Center, Murray County Expo Center. Jack. Right. <laughs> Ransom, how did you feel about your performance out there? Good. Huck Finn, goalie, double hat. What is, what is happening here? Like, what do you call this? My is this is this something we should all know about? Here, one second. One second. Time no, out. He's Back playing, up. He's playing on the field and being goalie and touching the ball. Well, he's giving me fashion advice. I didn't know I was supposed to wear a cross with my pants rolled up and a double hat. Hey. <laughs> Everyone, double your hat. Oh, God! Yes. Yes. Ransom, does that count? Yes. Is that a goal? I, I am arguing with your kid. He, he says no. At the same time. 
all of them at the same time. All right, Houston. How bad do you want that horse at your house? Not really bad? You're not a horse guy? You're just a... I am, but I, I don't know about this. You're just a turtle bear guy? A bear might attack it. Bear. Oh, bear. The dog. The bear. He might attack. I think that one would go with our she attacks goats. Well, I'm glad that you're thinking about what's best for the And family. other dogs that he didn't looking, know. looking out for him. But if she had a turtle on a leash, you'd be in? How's that even work? I don't know. I bet you can figure it out. All right, so what is your channel? When did you start and why did you start? Oh gosh, well, it's Arms Family Homestead. I started it, oh man, probably 10 years ago, but not as a serious channel to grow. It was more of uh, filming hunting adventures with my oldest son, Weston. He's 19 now, and so he was probably eight, so 11 years ago, probably something like that. But I didn't really take it serious. Uh, when I kind of really started taking YouTube serious was I was watching M.I. Gardener and um, let's see, MHP Gardener and the Web Cage and the Bayou Gardener. And they were huge garden channels. Gardening was a hobby and I had a lot of friends wanting me to teach them how to garden. And I was like, I can't do that. But I got to watching those three guys and realizing, man, these guys are making money on YouTube. And I, like, I love to garden and I love side hustles and I love making money on you know, different jobs. And I was selling vegetables at the time and trying to do you know, mow lawns and different stuff to, to make side income. And so it's like, I can make a run at this YouTube stuff with, with gardening. And uh, I got started doing that. And of course it took a long time to monetize it, but it was a lot of fun. I kind of got addicted to the, the teaching side of things. And gardening was a stress reliever for me because I was in law enforcement. So I could go to work all day. It didn't matter if you wrote five tickets or 50 tickets. When you get home, there was no way to um, quantify your day. And I think men need to feel like they did something. You know, it's just part of being a man. You want to feel like you earned your keep. Gardening was my stress reliever and I was selling produce and I could see, hey, look, here's my tomato I grew, here's my squash. And so it started doing, I started having a little bit of success trying to follow those garden videos and garden channels. And I kind of stumbled on the word homestead. I never called my farm a homestead. I would never, I've never go out in public and say we live on a homestead, but that was a community on YouTube. And the more I learned YouTube, I wanted to get in that community because there was, it was already there. And so we called our channel Arms Family Homestead and just started showing our day-to-day -day life and people enjoyed it and I enjoyed it. And I don't know, it was just a, another stress reliever outlet and a side hustle. Awesome. All right, question number, that was just question number one. Oh, it felt like three. It did. It, I, the channel's Rustic Woodwork and Family. When we first started, it was Rustic Woodwork and then we changed it into a family channel. Um, we started in 2019 and the reason why we started at first was just uh, actually, I was building wooden American flags and the kids actually help out in the shop. And so people wanted to see more of them. So we kind of transitioned into a family channel. So ever since it's, it's been awesome. Good. Our channel is MT Homestead. We started, our, we posted our first video on February 3rd of this year. Wow. And the reason we did that we had just moved back from Korea. And in Korea, you don't get no US television, nothing like that. So, but we had Wi Fi because the whole country's connected. So, we started watching YouTube as entertainment. And we started watching homesteading and ranching and stuff like that. And being former, I own my own farm in Missouri, and we sold it before we left, um, we wanted to get back to that. And so, we got hooked on YouTube bad. I mean bad. Um, it is uh, something that we wanted to do because our grandkids are spread all over the United States. Uh, my family's in Arizona, hers is in Missouri, so on and so forth. And we wanted to, like a lot of people, we wanted to document stuff like that. But we just thought it would be fun. The hard part was getting the nerve to actually start it. You seem like a shy person, so. And you know, truly I am. You know, former drill sergeant, you'd think I'd be a shy guy. But um, once we got in front of the thing, I mean, my mouth just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and it just became so easy. And why we stuck with it is because it's fun. Uh, Moorhead Homestead, we actually started in 2013 with Dutch when he was uh, first doing all his videos and uh, 
kind of dropped off the map for about six years, probably, roughly, and then started back um, a year and a half ago, I guess. And um, maybe the same reason why Dutch started, you know, watching Dutch and uh, seeing the uh, all the memories that he has on video now with his kids and his family that he can look back on, like why we did the birth video of, of Hudson. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> so now you know, 10, 15 years ago, we can talk about it and we can say, well, here, let's watch it. And we can pull it up and watch it. Um, the kids and I, is fishing, hunting trips, stuff like that, it's all recorded. It's all, I mean, you go back on it and check it out. So it's a cool experience. Awesome. My channel is Road Jack Outdoors and I started because I grew a pumpkins in advance. I helped a guy grow some pumpkins and I thought it would be really cool to um, show you guys how I grew them, how everything that goes into it. So my name is Ricky Ventures, same as my channel's name. And uh, I started actually at the beginning of this year in January. And I kind of made videos in the past for my family and stuff. And I thought uh, this year I should give it a go and see how I could do it on YouTube. And so my channel is about uh, stuff I do up north. I got 100, 180 acres up north in northern Minnesota. And so there's always plenty to do up there and I'm filming those things. And then I visit various uh, state parks in Minnesota as well. So, so your actual last name is Ventures? Uh, my actual last name is not Ventures. Okay, I was going to say that would be super ironic and awesome. <laughs> it would be. And yes. then I was going to ask if you wanted to name her Addie so she could be Adventures. <laughs> Adventures, yes. Would have been great. Okay, so question number one tell me of your channel, when you started, and why. Um, we are two old people on a couch. I am Debbie, and Mark is over there. And um, we started during the pandemic last year um, because we were locked in our homes and had nothing better to do. We remodeled our living room and then we were like, what now? So we started this. Uh, the channel is Happy Texas Homestead. We started in April of this year and I wanted to do something children could reflect back on and look and, and remember. Our channel name is Walker Farm Fam. We started in January of 2020, and we started because we wanted to have memories for our family five years, 10 years, 15 years down the road, be able to look back and see little Ransom when he was four, and uh, well, now he's four, he was three then. And so we wanted to see our family grow. Part one. Part two, we wanted to share our life. We wanted to share Christ. We wanted to share our family and just all the stuff we do. And YouTube is an amazing platform. So no matter what you have to share, and I'm sure what we share will grow throughout the years, but it's such an amazing platform. Um, there's nothing else like it in the world. So we're, we thought it was a great idea to start. Didn't have any idea where it would go, but we're really happy. Um, Very blessed with, at the opportunities we've had. So. Yeah. And so that's pretty much it. Awesome. My channel is LG Homestead, and we started uh, right about March of this year. And I've been watching these uh, homesteading farming channels for several years and just decided that that's, you know, that I, I think maybe I could do that. I've been wanting to do a YouTube channel and just didn't know which one to do, but we're getting into the homesteading, and so that's what we decided to do. Uh, channel's Fowler Family Farm. I'm Mike Feller. Uh, we started, we actually started back in June of 2020 and we started because of COVID. Uh, we were just bored sitting at the house all the time and I've always wanted to do YouTube so we picked it up and started doing it. Uh, Dusty Baker of Cross Timbers Bison started in 2019. Uh, main reason I started was Daniel, my brother-in-law from Ars Family Homestead, went to my ranch and filmed them and put it on YouTube so everybody saw it so kind of started then with a the push there and uh, wanted people to see more about bison. Where do I look? Do I look in this thing yeah, here yeah, yeah, or yeah. that thing? No, don't look at Okay, there. sorry. Okay. Um, hi, I'm Chrissy and I'm from Paragon Ridge Ranch. We started in uh, March of 2000. Hold on, let me think. 2020? Yeah, I gotta go back. On. February, March of 2020. And then what was the other question? Why did you start? We started because we bought some property for deer hunting and then we bought more property around it and more property around it and finally we decided to build a barn dominium on it and then came all the animals, the chickens and the goats and so all the things I'm creating and doing and learning, I also want to teach and show and enjoy it 
or I enjoy it and I want to enjoy it with you. So I just want to share it. And also heirloom for my kids. So when we're older, they can always remember. Remember the time we had, you know, baby goats. Remember the time we had silkies. Remember we built a buck pen or we built a turkey pen. Remember we got that deer, you know, I want them to always kind of document that and have it to look back on when they're older. Do you guys have a YouTube channel? Yes, we're uh, Twisted Bee Minis. Twisted Bee Minis. Yes. And they raise? We raise. Cat sized horses. Yes. No, that's a, they, they raise mini horses, yes. right? And mini then horses. This, that, they bred it. But uh, that's yeah, that's not the, like breeding. This is like a. This what is, do you call it? He's a miniature horse dwarf. We just occasionally there's one. Micro outside. mini, yes. micro mini, double mini. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is small. Yes. What do you think, Kai? Um, and we raise uh, ostriches, um, different types of birds, anywhere like muscovies. Guineas, mm. uh, rare chickens. Yes. What else have we got? Where are you located? Uh, here in Davis. We're, in Davis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're Brandon's gonna be Brandon's new neighbor. Oh, congrats! And, and awesome. Brandon and William, they went to school together. Okay. Oh, cool. What would you be willing to give up to get that horse at your house? <laughs> your brother? <laughs> I mean, is that an option? I would do that for my brother. Oh, why did I start? I started because I wanted to make memories for my kids, something they can go back and look at. Kind of like we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so I lost my dad at a young age, no memories of him. I was like, you know what, this YouTube, I can make memories for my children, something never happened to me. Keeping it Dutch, um, my name's Dutch, Sean, whatever you don't call me, I go by Dutch on the channel, hence keeping it Dutch, keeping it real. Question. This is now not you one said of three, the three. You know, no, you said three questions. Three and a half. Okay. Where did the name keeping it Dutch come from? Why Dutch, do people was, call you Dutch was a nickname in the Marine Corps. If you ever seen the movie Predator, Arnold Schwarzenegger is Dutch, so we all kind of make nicknames in the Marine Corps, you know. So that's where Dutch came from. Tafford Homestead. We started a year and a half ago, and he's the one that started. Well, I started to have pictures and memories, but to retire my life. Hopefully, one year. Five M Family Homestead. Started actually making videos a long, long time ago. Here in the last few years, actually started putting them on YouTube um, to document our family and, and just our adventures. And what was the, the next one? What was my That's tail it. name? Yep. When did I start? Yep. And why? That's Got it. it. Uh, Hidden Heights Farm, right here on the shirt. Um, what was the next one? When did you start your channel? That was three questions in one. Yeah, right? I know. It's like an ABC. <laughs> When did we start? We started in January of 19, I believe. So we've been making videos for a little over two years now. And uh, basically, the reason we started video and everything is uh, keeping it Dutch. We grew up best friends, and he already had an established YouTube channel. And he said, man, you're good at farming. You're good at raising goats. That's, that's mainly what our channel is. And he said, you already do it, so why don't you just put it on videos and try to educate other people. And the feedback that we have got from the YouTube community has been overwhelming. Um, I like to tell all of our viewers and our loyal subscribers that uh, we don't just teach you guys, we actually learn every video we post, we leave our comments on, and we learn all kinds of stuff that we never knew about, just about every video. So that's, you know, it's, a, it's just a great feeling knowing that you can put a video out doing something you do every day and somebody says, hey, you brought back memories from when I was a kid. I'm a disabled or I'm elderly and uh, I used to help my grandma raise goats or whatever and I'm not able to do that now and you get those comments and you read them and it's just an awesome feeling. So. Uh, my channel is Oklahoma and Drone. I started it last January I think, last January or February and started it because I got bored. I didn't want to sit inside and play video games all day and I always did like hunting and fishing every day and so I decided to start videoing it and start just putting it out there to the public and just seeing, showing everybody what I do every day and try to have some fun. The what? The more we did better than us. Who? Megan. She traded. She did more than us. Uh, the more that. How does that make you feel? Okay. Are you sad? Are you sad about that? No, I'm uh. not mad. I'm mad! So this is Brenda Baker. She is what I call YouTube super fan. <laughs> Brenda Baker, how long have you been watching YouTube? Oh, probably a couple of years. A couple of years. Why did you start watching YouTube? COVID. <laughs> COVID. The channel is Adler Farms, and I started, um, let's see, January of 19. No, I'm sorry, 
January 20. Why? Oh man, we've got two little boys, as you know, and just wanted to document trying this farming and gardening thing and um, try our hand at it. We were gonna try, we were gonna do it anyway, so I thought it'd be cool to vlog about it. And um, you know, YouTube's a great place to get information. And just figured I'd see if I can contribute to it at all. And it's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, there's some of them. That's terrible. The more than enough to oh finish my gosh. His, his incubator. Those off. look like uh, those milk eggs that you eat at Whoppers. Easter. Whoppers. Yeah, Easter yeah. Whoppers. So you are to see the uh, button quill eggs. They're half that size. Oh my gosh. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We have some button quill too. So these, uh, this is quail one eggs. Day. This is one day of eggs. One day of eggs. Yeah, one day of eggs. That's what your dad said. Yeah, I just want to come back down here and stay. Because y'all have how many? 600. 600 make this many eggs a day. Wow. Yeah. They're not all adults, so I mean, a lot of them are still young. Um, quail will start laying in six weeks, six weeks, but sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So when you go to put these in the incubator, make sure you look real close. Some of them is cracked in the pen or whatever. They're not to the cracked one. But these are good to eat. I was going to say, you can eat them just like this. Is a little puppy? Just put them in yeah, we yeah, all just mix them all together. So can they, you boil? Yeah, we can boil them. Um, Bite size boiled eggs. Um, it's pretty neat. But hopefully that'll give you a start. Like I say, you put them in there. So I've had them hatch anywhere from 18 days to, to 21. So awesome. Yeah. 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 So we're gonna try to get some rabbits. These these guys are some super machines. Man. They, put, they poop a bunch, don't they? Yeah. You have quail too? Yeah. I you I had quail, but they were Ah. Well. Hit Zeke up in a few few weeks. Looks like he's gonna have some. Yeah. You need some? We had some once. You did? Yeah. Did you like them? Would you rather have quails or chickens? I'll tell you this. I'll give up my brother for that. You'll give up your brother for that? What? Hey, he's bigger than you. Yeah. I have a control. Hey, you can't give him up, man. Superstar basketball player, right? Houston, Weston's gonna see this and he's gonna be mad at you. I'm telling. You gonna tell him? I'm not gonna tell him. I'm not gonna tell him. I mean, he may post that video. I probably will. 